Woohoo, everybody! I'm Joanne Ninjahan and I'm writing web fiction. And I'm publishing my web fiction Auntie Toasts the Via MMORPG on Royal Road. One of my favorite sites for lit RPG. They have great fantasy, great sci fi, and all those exciting new genres or subgenres like lit RPG, game lit, time loop fiction, apocalyptic system fiction, isekai, portal fiction. So it's basically, if you're a nerd, unlike nerd style fiction, go to Royal Roads. So I'm a long time customer of Royal Roads. It's free, so I don't know if I can say I'm a customer, but now I am. Because I acquired the premium author membership recently from my sweet, sweet Patreon money. So great. I'm really excited to give Royal Road a bit back for all the joy and all the great fictions they brought to me. And today I want to show you what features the premium Royal Road uh, entails that if you know if you should get it for yourself or not, right? So I bought under premium. There's a special, uh, I don't want to call it feature, <laughs> there's a special requirement for German users. We can only buy the subscription for one year. So yeah, I bought this. I bought the author premium and it says everything from the reader premium, great, no advertising, push notifications, I disabled the push notifications because I get too many of them, premium batch, yeah, it's a vanity thing, like the golden post border, it's a vanity thing as well, full reading history, that's pretty practical, I uh, show it to you now. So it uh, basically entails what I read last and that's pretty nice because sometimes I forgot to follow a fiction and I don't even know what it was called and then I have to do a lot of guesswork so this history feature uh, did save me some time already searching for fictions I've read but forgot to follow. It goes pretty far back, which is good as well. Monthly avatar borders is the next bullet point. I haven't figured out this yet. I know that there are avatar borders. <laughs> This is an avatar border, the silver things around my avatar. And with premium you can get some customizable, like on Halloween's it was a pumpkin thing. Let's look if I can find where I can change my avatar border. Found it. So I'm at my profile. And here is the border wardrobe. So there are level borders. Okay, okay, okay. And there are the custom borders. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I'm not interested in them. But cute. Here's an example how it uh, looks when you post under a story. I, of course, choose my story and my awesome readers. Mugi Varabaka has a premium badge and he has chosen the cute custom border as well. Friley too. And here is how it looks in the forums. That's the golden border and uh, premium is under my name. So you get a bit more attention to your post. But like you can see, it's pretty common that authors have premium. So I've shown you the monthly avatar borders. This month it's Christmassy borders. The next bullet point is early access to new features. Uh, don't know. <laughs> Haven't noticed any, but I'm a new subscriber, so maybe. 
custom profile header. This is a one or two feature I very much like. You can see the custom profile thingy in the background. It's a uh, John Ninja hen and I have my logo, that's the hen with the shuriken, and my cover in it. Last but not least, support Royal Road. And I believe they are totally right to write this down because it's a free platform. You can read totally free so much books and stories that this alone might be really worth it to subscribe. And it's much cheaper than Kindle Unlimited. Uh, I have kind of unlimited, so whatever. Okay, this was the Reader Premium, but I bought the Author Premium. So, everything from the Reader Premium. Yes, thank you very much. Detailed analytics. This was one of the main reasons I bought this, and of course, a bit support, but yeah. So, let's look at the detailed analytics. I'm at my dashboard. Analytics, stats. This you can see for free as an author, so it's not part of the premium feature. And honestly, it's a bit of the most interesting <laughs> stats for me. Okay, maybe because only I'm used to it and it's easy to understand. You can see here your ratings and how many people give gave you what rating. If you're new to Royal Road, it's totally normal to get these troll ratings. Okay, the navigation is shitty. I can't go down here. Hello, I want to see. Okay, general page views. Okay. So what I don't like about this analytics is that I haven't found a way to adjust the time frame. I think there was one between one month and one uh, week here last seven days, but I don't see it now. So you have only one month with the page views. And uh, is this interesting page views? Maybe a bit. Reader activity per chapter. Views, comments, maybe this is a bit interesting. You can see here that when there is a spike on the comments that the chapter has a bit more views as well. This is a kind of special chapter. It's 11b and I wrote 11b after chapter 92 and inserted it behind chapter 11 because I realized that I had to explain a bit more early on in the story. So we will see for the next analytics that chapter 11b is always the odd one out in uh, every graph. So this stat, this graph is a bit depressing. <laughs> so yeah, my reader should ship uh, declined and declined and declined and declined. Oh, sniff, sniff, sniff. But yeah, I didn't hit trending for a long time. So it's kind of expected. Yeah? Nah, but sad nonetheless. Referrers uh, last seven days. This was a bit interesting for me. Newsblur? Like it's interesting now. What does Newsblur refer to my story? So we've got Google Forum at Novel Updates. Oh, I didn't know that my story is on Novel Updates. Great. People actually search via Google for my story. Great. So you can click here on Royal Roads and you can see from which Royal Road features they went to my story. This is quite interesting as well because there is a lot of people who come from their reputations and navigate over that. From the home page, wow. Oh, what's that? Maybe somebody made an advertisement for me. I spent a bit of time 
reading what people search for. So this is one of the main features my story gets found by potential readers. They look for tags and remove other tags. This shows that it's important to check your story right. Like I read that one author didn't um, tag his story for lit RPG because it's only light lit RPG. But please, I mean, if it's bit lit RPG, tag it as lit RPG. This is week popular by page 12. These are the really dedicated Royal Roaders. Okay, you see, I find this interesting. Maybe it's not for other people, but I enjoy seeing it. User retention. What is this? Hmm. The user retention analytics are meant to help you gauge which chapters are the ones where you've lost readers. While this is a tribal task, when you have a few chapters, after reaching dozens to hundreds, it gets increasingly hard to keep track. Yes. So we have the chapter 11b spike. Here it's showed on chapter 11 because the algorithm thinks, oh, I lost them on chapter 11 because so much less people read chapter 11b because the algorithm didn't know that I added chapter 11b later. So this is in fact a false statement. I haven't lost all these readers on uh, chapter 11 and what makes it a bit shitty is that it distorts the y-axis. So I can't really see the interesting chapters this uh, clearly because um, the scale is too high because of chapter 11 and 11b. Maybe the, ch maybe the scale is for every author this high. I don't know. I just suspect it. So this feature is really interesting. So let me tell you a bit about the chapters I lost readers. Here, elemental classes. This was maybe a bit rushed and maybe a bit exposition heavy. Refining Metal was a crafting chapter, and The Banquet was the last chapter of Volume 1. There was seemingly a lot of people who finished reading Volume 1, but weren't interested in uh, Volume 2. They missed out. Grinding XP was the last chapter of Arc 1. And this were chapters, this is never exposition heavy chapter, this were chapters more like not action chapters, but transitioning chapters. They haven't furthered the plot. It was more, okay, my MC does this, 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 this to build their foundation up. Garbage Deposal was an action chapter. It was a dungeon dive. So here between I have a chapter uh, which is called Counseling Flowing Flowers and I'm currently trying to look for it. Oh, let's try to make this bigger. Can I make it bigger? Please, please, please. Yeah, in between there is a chapter which is called Counseling Flowing Flowers and it makes a bit... It doesn't make fun of council culture. So my MC is cancelled. Or people try to get my MC cancelled and I was very hesitant about this chapter because cancel culture is such a hot topic and I expected to lose readers with this chapter. This doesn't seem true. So uh, good for me. So the next list is the basis, the numerical basis for this craft. Oh. Okay, I have a glossary chapter. Maybe the low user retention is because people skipped uh, the glossary chapter and not like I said that they only read volume one. You see, it's not, it's not easy to interpret this uh, kind of stats. Chapter page views. Well, okay. 
So I can see how many people viewed this chapter over, uh, is it six months? Yeah. I can't adjust the number of months, which I don't like. Let's look at chapter one. You can see this spike here. Um, someone made a promotion. Thank you very much on Reddit for my story. So we have a spike here. I don't know what this spike is about. Maybe I did an interesting forum post. I don't know. Okay, next feature. Come on, come on, go down, go down. Ah. Rating over time. October, November. Can I add show year? Yes, please. So I can change between show two month and show year. Show chapter releases. Okay. Mm, is this interesting? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Data is only collected since... Okay. And uh, the chapter releases are not working here. This has to be a bug. So maybe this is a bit interesting as well, because I'm currently on a not that exciting arc in my story, and it shows, yeah. If you're a reader of mine, I'm sorry, there are uh, five more not that exciting chapters <laughs> coming, so uh, this going down will continue for a bit, but then the story will pick up again and then there will be a couple of high action uh, chapters so you have something to look forward to i hope i mean if you like high action you are not reading <laughs> my story it's more a crafting and comedy kind of story you can see that my favorites are a bit of inverse to the followers like the ferrets here go up and this goes down and the same here this goes down and here's on no it's more at the same time what was this chapter start of november i have to check it out maybe november 6 or november 5 let's look at it from one of the other analytic thingies yeah, so this has no dates. This makes it kind of not so good to compare with each other. So how do I find out what chapter I published at November 5th? Here. Okay, good. Oh, so the Esbert mini arc was uh, a training arc and Preach was an action arc. So I don't understand it. Perhaps there are some readers who like action, some who don't like actions. Yeah, it's really difficult and I can only advise myself and my fellow authors not confuse oneself. I mean, I always try to think, this is my story, if readers like it, great. If readers don't like it, it's totally okay as well. I have to satisfy myself and my standards before I look at my readers. Because readers are fickle. <laughs> Sorry readers, I love you, but you are fickle. <laughs> okay, this was the advanced uh, analytics. Next author premium feature. Review push notifications. I believe I disabled this feature as well, but it might be great for someone. Customizable fiction header. Oh, I love this. This uh, was uh, one of the main reasons I got author premium, because I envied the other authors, because they have nice headers and I had none. <laughs> I'll show you mine. It's a work in progress, right? Here you see my customable header. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> EPUB export. I haven't tried this yet, but let's try it together. I'm at the author dashboard, then advanced. This is another premium feature, I believe. This and this too. Export EPUB. Yes. Let's make it a nicer name. Cover. 
If you don't upload a cover for the EPUB, we'll use your fiction's current cover. Keep in mind that we only store a low resolution copy. Yeah, I have a lot of covers. I have, I have some covers. Some, some, um, um, yeah. This should have a higher resolution. Uh, Klein means small in German, so uh, mini here. Yeah. So I have uh, different resolutions of my favorite covers. Chapters. Select all. Yes. Generate. Let's look at the time. It took less than a minute. Very good. Yeah, now I have to <laughs> look for a way to read EPUB. I would like to say I will back in a minute, but it would, <laughs> it's probably would take me longer. So I randomly downloaded a ebook reader. Its name is Ice Cream, and I don't know if it's good or bad or whatever. And I hope that I haven't caught too many viruses <laughs> while downloading it. I imported Auntie Toasts in the reader. This uh, was no problem at all. And this looks good. The title is okay. The author is okay. Edit today. Good. So the page breaks are the standard page breaks. Why I mention this, another premium feature is customizable page breaks. I will show you soon. And they didn't get imported. So it's just the standard page breaks. And it's custom to increase the margin a bit. If you have a new paragraph and they didn't convert this automatically, but oh, well. So the next thing that interests me is what they do with comments. This is an error on my part. I have sometimes forgotten to delete the caption from the main text. So I have the caption as caption and I have a double here. So I have to clean up my Royal Road postings that this doesn't happen. It looks great. This looks fine as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Arrow at line opening and ending tag mismatch. Okay. We have here a footnote. It's not a formatted footnote. It's um, I just did it like this. So. so let's look at chapter four in Royal Roads. It's the first chapters with tables, but otherwise it looks fine. Let's go through it. So this is the standard uh, lit RPG blue boxes. They got this all right. Good. Oh, they even got a bit of color. Very good. Let's compare this to uh, chapter 11 on Royal Road. Okay, they got the color, but they didn't get the table. So the next chapter will be interesting as well because there are more complicated tables. So let's see what the EPUB makes out of them. Hmm. I dislike that there are no table borders. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? A summary? So I'm not a fan. You have to edit the EPUB. So maybe you get a okay base, but you have definitely edited it. Sometimes there are borders on the table, sometimes there don't. Then there are these errors. I mean, it's a lit RPG problem. Tables are always there. It's okay with the, the table, so... <laughs> I mean, that's the most tricky part if, uh, if you don't know what you did wrong. A lot of errors. 
So I would say nice try Royal Road, but you are a site with a lot of lit RPG, so maybe you can step it up a bit for your e pub generation, especially for yeah tables. Next feature, find and replace. I do have a real application for it. I have messed up one of the names of an NPC. It's a tiger and it's called Ahon Katur. And I misspelled it a few times. So let's go to the dashboard. Advanced. Replace. Search Ahon Katur. Ahon Katur. Preview. It's a name, so it shouldn't matter if it's case sensitive or not. Sure. Yes, I want this. Finalize, please. Thank you very much. Looks good. Let's see if it worked. Without an R. Without an. Ooh. Oh, Kathy. <laughs> okay, I misspelled it in different <laughs> ways. Oh, sloppy author, sloppy author. Next feature automatic draft saving. Ever had your connection cut out right before publishing your chapter? So, this might be a nice feature for some, uh, not for me. I write in Microsoft Word and just paste it to Royal World. Next feature, chapter import. Import your existing chapters from WordPress, docx files or EPUB. I didn't use this because I have one big document for my whole story and if I have to do one document per chapter WordPress, let's look at it. I can't even imagine how you could import something from WordPress. Okay. Hmm. Good. Maybe it's a nice feature, but I prefer to post my chapters manually and uh, add the author comments and I often post little pictures. Please tell me if you uh, use this feature and what you think about it. Okay, this was uh, the whole list, but I discovered another feature. Maybe it's an easter egg, but I love it. So you can replace the normal page breaks or line breaks with custom line breaks. Isn't this awesome? It is awesome. And Royal Road offers a few nice standard custom line breaks. I used one of them to change it a bit more and add a toaster. So um, good. I'll show it to you. We are at the dashboard again, then settings, customize. Here you can add or change your header for your story. And here's the ornament. I choose the custom ornament, but here are nice options for you. They're really pretty. They did a great job with it. All right, so thank you very much for watching this way too long a video about the Royal Road Premium Author feature. Please tell me how you like the features and which feature you think is worth the bucks the most. I'm personally uh, very happy with having bought the Premium Membership because I love my custom header for my story and I love my custom page break. I'm a happy customer. Thank you. Bye bye.